down for sure. I used to use it as a sketch, yeah. sketch for oil. But people sometimes prefer them to the, to the oil. Mm -hmm. um, Power, more powerful, isn't it? Yes. And this watercolour here, yeah, it's on the river. It's just near me. Yeah. It's immediate watercolour, though. You just do it and leave it. If it works, it's great. If it doesn't work, it doesn't it's work. disaster. It doesn't work. Yeah. You can't change it, can you? Yes. No. And that's yeah. a different feeling of watercolour than the other yeah. one. It's much yeah. quieter and gentler. Ladies and gentlemen, you are all very welcome. I'd like to extend a, a special welcome to Roy, who is with us here from his home in France this evening. Unfortunately, yesterday we received a message that Mr. John Boerman had been called away urgently to Los Angeles. However, I'm delighted to say that we have equally an honored guest here. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. John Hurt. Well, I must say that I'm, I'm, I'm uh, very honoured to be taking the place of Mr. Borman. <laughs> and uh, one thing that I can promise you is that I will not be speaking for quite as long. <laughs> um, it's, let me just say that this, as far as I'm concerned, this is the easiest possible exhibition to open. Insofar as it, is, it, it seems to me that it's uh, impossible not to see um, the coming to life of what uh, Rousseau said about uh, poetry. He said, if poetry does not come to you as leaves fall from the tree, don't bother to write it. And uh, it's just a glance around here. It's, it's, it's interesting to see that, uh, that we're looking at a painter who simply has the gift. Uh, whatever one wants to think about it, that's a fantastic thing to have. And it is a, 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 a an amazing talent. Uh, also, I think that it's uh, looking at his history. It's uh, I'm always thrilled when somebody um, makes makes it, if you like, or or becomes successful without the help of the art world, in a sense. And from the railings of Piccadilly to being bought by all the worthies who have bought just fills my heart with a thrill. <laughs> and, um, and you don't need Greenberg to tell you whether or not you're supposed to buy it. And uh, you can simply look at it and it testifies itself to you anyway. So, um, as I say, I'm, uh, my dear friend John Borman, who sadly has to go to Hollywood, it's given me a great pleasure <laughs> to be able to open this exhibition. <laughs> Yes, now I have a glass of wine. Have a glass of wine. <laughs>